I got some new toys today. Look at this. It's the 12th installment of the Curiosity Box by Vsauce. XII. And as soon as I saw this box, it just totally reminded me of something. Might not have reminded you of this, um, but this, this grid pattern in the mountains. You know what it reminded me of? Yes. <laughs> the Lego Unitron monorail from the 90s. Look at that. It's got the pink grid. It's got the mountains. It's got kind of the reddish pink grid. Did they steal this from the Lego? I don't think so, but it's odd coincidence that two things I love, this monorail, the Unitron monorail, also known as monorail transport base, and this curiosity box are similar. Also reminded me of Tron. But anyway, we're going to open this box. There's the hashtag. It, the first boxes I got was, said the curiosity box. Now it's just curiosity box. And we did go through all 12 of, or all the previous 11 boxes we had. I needed to consolidate the space because we've gotten so many of these boxes and we love them. And we've been working on our office. I actually got a couple of shelves dedicated to some of uh, the toys that we get in this. Uh, and so we're going to see what surprises we have this month. And this is more of a rectangular shape box <laughs> than the previous boxes. So there must be something a little bit longer in here is what I'm guessing. So I'm excited to see. And as always, if you want to get this, I'll have a link in the description below. I get a $5 credit if you purchase it. Uh, but it's, um, this, yes, I do pay for this because this is my favorite loot box. All right, and I don't know what's going to be in here because it's the first time for me seeing it and I don't like to be spoiled. Sometimes they, they tease them on the Ding channel and stuff. All right, it says, Within the sea is where I live. I love to learn and think. My full name is Inquisitive, but you can call me Ink. So that's the little orange octopus. And there's the inner lay. And this kind of goes over what we got. Ooh... Metal Earth Hubble Telescope, a sand pendulum. Interesting. I wonder if that will spill. <laughs> an Inks Curarin is an incredibly simple looking object that behaves in an astonishing way. Stand it upright, and the slightest touch will cause it to tip over and then walk. Oh, that's. Oh, I'm going to love looking at that. We got an ink drawing pad. Uh, that's the grids. Bad math drawings inks playing cards all right so let's look at this let's see who got on the curiosity uh, quarterly here nice take your picture and use the hashtag curiosity box and tag them there and you might get your picture on there with your box when you get it so this usually is where you can go and get more details about the uh, things that are in the box so I'm very interested in this sand pendulum. I'm just hoping I don't get sand everywhere. Ooh. What is in here? Is this the t-shirt? Oh, nice. This is nice. The Gemini. What? Is it Gemini or Gemini or Jemima? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's the second one. Wasn't it? Um, what's the one Shepard went up in? Mercury, then Gemini, then Apollo. Is that how it went? All right, nice shirt. Double exposure. Oh, so you need this. You need the glasses. Uh, so this, if there are some. Um, I gotta build that. Wow. <laughs> that is neat that you can build that from this flat piece of, uh, I mean, is it metal? It says metal. Steel model kit. No glue required. Nice. Alright, I can't wait. Physics, skill, sport. The ink, cure, urine. I, 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 when there's multiple R's in a, in a word, I have a hard time saying it. Cure, Alright, what does this thing do? What are you supposed to do? Not doing anything. 
roll it from side to side. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what? Now that was pretty neat. Let's see if I can do that again. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Oh, I didn't do it at that time. Nope. Yeah. That's weird. Won't do it anymore. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> so there's no moving parts in there. No, uh, what does it say? It's just no weights or moving parts, just curves and uses gravity. That is pretty neat. I mean, just that it rolls that way is is neat, and then that it will stand on its end sometimes is just. I don't need to look at anything else in the box. I'm just satisfied with this. Now <laughs> I can't get it to stand again. <laughs> All right, let's look at some other stuff. Now we got the ink drawing pad. Oh, there's the glasses. So the glasses are what you need to look at the the shirt. What do I do with the shirt? So I'll have to do that. You won't be able to do it. <laughs> and we got the ink drawing pad. Ooh. So uh, I suppose this is for drawing 3D. I haven't read the things there. There's our pencil that comes with it. Your, creati your creativity will appear to leap off the page. Draw any image on this pad of red and blue lines put on the 3d glasses and watch it float in the air oh so draw any image on there oh, i wish i could show you that but i can't put the glasses on the camera lens fascinating i love that we have the bicycle cards inks playing cards alert this isn't the standard deck of playing cards ah it's also a magic mark check the instructions so I'll have to check that out that's pretty neat I got five dollar credit on my uh, next purchase from the and they actually had an item that I did see on Ding that was a Euler's disc I used already used my five dollar credit <laughs> actually as soon as I watched a video that Michael did I went and bought that got a postcard in there we got bad math drawings a book I like to sometimes take these books to work. I can read them while I'm at work instead of doing my job. Wow. One of my favorite uh, YouTube channels, Stand Up Maths. All right, we got a game card, the Kami downloaded. Not Kami. That sounded bad. And this is why the box is so big. It's the pendulum. Pendulum. And the box is rolling. Oh, look. There's, let me see. Oh, you can't see that. There's inks. <laughs> He's right there in the box. <laughs> All right. The sand pendulum. So I'll set this up. So here are the parts. Not a lot of parts, so it should be easy to set up. It does come with sand. I wonder why they call it a sand pendulum. <laughs> okay, here we go.
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Nice. Gotta get it. All right, so that was another interesting uh, curiosity box. Obviously, I gotta look at some more of this stuff to see what all it does. Had fun messing around with the sand. I didn't make too big a mess, but this is a neat little trick here. If I could get it to do it every time, maybe with practice I can make it stand up on its end. Just that it rolls that way. Why does it little things like that interest me so much? I don't know. <laughs> I could get, like I said before, it's my favorite loot type box. I do buy these because I love them. Check it out, Curiosity Box, and thanks for watching this video. Check out our, we got a whole playlist of every single Curiosity Box ever, because we've bought all of them, because we love it. And I will see you in the next video.